in this session we are going to discuss selenium interview questions asked in 2024 for the beginner level first question is that what is selenium actually selenium is a open source tools and it can uh, run uh, ui test cases or it can be used to create and run ui test cases on chrome firefox and on different browser and it is compatible to run on different operating system like mac linux and windows selenium uh, can be combined you can combine this selenium tool or you can say framework with maven testnd extend report etc okay now second is that what are the limitations of selenium testing this is a very important question selenium is you can say first thing is that because selenium is a open source or you can say it is a free tool there is no dedicated technical support to resolve the query okay second thing is that selenium uh, needs to be integrated with third party tools like apm and testng if you want to perform some different type of testing like desktop and mobile application uh selenium itself don't provide any uh, option for the reporting on test management facilities so that's why you have to integrate with all tools like test ng unit unit and other tools okay now the important thing is that because selenium web driver expect the user to have a basic knowledge of program that is very important it means if somebody want to work on selenium web driver he should have the basic knowledge of the program third thing is that what is the same origin policy and how it handles so actually because the same origin policy is a, a feature which is basically used for the security purpose and according to this policy what happened that a web browser allows script from one page to access the content of another page provided both the pages have the same origin so the meaning of it that suppose take the example you are going to access the ic bank website okay so you have logged in it here on the ic bank then you have are going to click on uh, any link on that maybe transfer fund something like that so whenever you are going to click any link it actually will follow a url right so it will check whether you are clicking on a link so the original the origin of that page means the original uh, base url that should be same that should be same from the ici bank website okay if it is different it will assume that it is a it is a malicious code somebody will try to uh, trying to hack your application so that's why same origin policy says that whenever you enter into the application always whenever you click on a link or you will access any page it should always come with the same domain not with the different domain okay so in simple words you can say same origin policy prevents a malicious script on one page to access sensitive data on other web page now what is the you can say uh, what are the types of weight supported by web driver selenium web driver supports implicit weight explicit weight and fluent weight implicit weight you can say it, it is a weight which is used for a certain amount of time before throwing a no such element so whenever you are going to use implicit weight and it it will try to find out the element it will it it will not find the element then it will wait for the certain amount of time as given in the you can say syntax before throwing the no such element syntax is driver dot manage dot time out implicit weight and here you give the time and second is the time unit second is that explicit weight explicit weight is how it is different from the implicit weight in the explicit weight you have a option to provide the condition so it will so it will throw an exception like element not visible like before throwing uh, any exception something like element not visible uh, it will check the certain conditions so that's why in explicit weight you can provide the condition syntax is that web driver weight equal to new web driver weight web driver comma and here also you give the timer now third is that that is called fluent weight fluent weight is also you can say it is similar to the explicit weight or web driver weight uh, it also uh, you can say follows the condition but the another benefit is that here you can actually set the frequency with which we want to check the condition means in which duration you want to check the condition before throwing any application uh, any exception this is a weight new fluent weight and here you can say that with timeout dot polling every and ignoring okay if you still want to get into detail uh, i have multiple videos on my channel related to this topic now mention the types of navigates command so navigate commands actually you can say it actually uh, simulates the 
clicking on back button, forward button, refresh button on your, you can say web browser. So navigate, driver or navigate to do, to is used to navigate to a proper URL, driver.navigate.refreshes to reload the page, driver.navigate.forward is this method does the same operation as clicking on the forward button of any browser and driver.navigate.back does the same operation as clicking on the back button. Okay, so still uh, you want to see that some time interview question uh, ask the question what is the difference between driver.get and driver.navigate so you can watch this video on my channel. I will provide the link in the description of this video. Now what is the major difference between driver.close and driver.quit? So you can say driver.close uh, opens whenever you have a multiple browser open. So driver.close will open the only the current browser on which the control is that but driver.quit closes all the browsers. Still, you want to get into the detail, you can watch this video on my channel. Difference in driver dot close and driver dot quit here. Next is that how to wait until a web page has been loaded completely in the Selenium. This is also a good question. So you have a different options. Uh, first option is that you can go with the implicit wait. So uh, uh, in implicit wait, uh, you can say uh, one approach is to implicit wait command in Selenium, which instruct the web driver wait for a certain amount of time before throwing an error if the element is not found or loaded so it will wait for a certain amount of time. and second is that you can use the explicit wait where you can uh, provide a specific condition for a specific element for example wait for a specific element to appear on the page okay you can uh, get, uh, get the detail and depth understanding on that type of weights in selenium and on my channel i provided the videos on both the language hindi and english Explain Selenium 4 and why it is different from other Selenium version. Selenium 4 is the latest version. You can say that we have already Selenium 2 version, 3 version. Now Selenium 4 is providing, uh, you can say, a lot of feature in hence Selenium Grid. Upgraded Selenium ID, we have relative locators in Selenium 4. Improved documentation is improved. Support is good for uh, support for Chrome debugging protocol. Better window time management. That is good. Depression of desired capability and modification in the XM class. Okay. And uh, still you want to, uh, you can go into the detail. You can join my latest live sessions. Okay. For live session, you can contact on this number. Uh, I provide the personal batches as well as, as you can say, group batches. Okay. Now. Question number nine, what is the an alternative option to driver.get method to open in URL? Simply, we can open with the driver code navigate to, or you can see the difference using this video. Method uh, mentioned different ways of locating an element in Selenium. So there are various ways for locating an element in Selenium, like by dot by ID, by name, by class name, by tag name, by link text, by partial text, by CSS and by expert. Yeah, two things are very famous, which is used in the same like CSS selector and expert. So if you want to go uh, get the detailed understanding of the expert and dynamic expert, you can watch these two videos. Now, how we can type a text in a text box using Selenium? This is a very you can say good interview question. So uh, usually people ask that. What, how you can type so you have a, a method that is called send keys but sometimes people ask that i want to enter uh, into a text box without the send keys then you can watch this video on my channel how to type in a text box without using send keys this is also a good interview question now how we can move to the nth child element using xpath so actually it is uh, example where you are uh, you should have the proper knowledge of uh, absolute path and you can say relative xpath so, so this is the answer for that, like slash is an element, but for detailed understanding, you can watch this video XPath in Selenium. This is available in Hindi language. Now, is it possible to test API or web services using Selenium web driver? So actually the answer is no. Okay, we cannot test API or web services using Selenium. Web drivers, it is designed to test browser-based application, but, but we can use the Java language. We can use the Java language. Uh, uh, or Java based tools for testing the API, like you can say rest assured, which is very popular. So if you want to get the understanding of uh, automation using rest assured, you can watch this videos rest assured API automation. Now, what is Selenium web driver? Selenium web driver is actually nothing. It is a popular tool for automating web browsers and has a program interface. So I have, I have a complete course, uh, complete free course on my uh, YouTube video, complete Selenium course life session. You can go through with that. Okay. And now what are the different type of annotation which are used in Selenium? This is also a question. In Selenium, we don't have any annotation to manage the, you can say, test case execution flow. But you can take the help of TestNG. TestNG provides the annotation like at the rate test, at the rate before method, after method, before. So many annotations are there. 
and using Tessany annotation, you can manage your test cases in Selenium. If you want to get the detail of understanding, you can go through this video, learn TestNG easily. And one of the hot interview questions is that how to rerun your failed test case means you have run the test case and now you want to rerun the failed test case again so that you can see maybe few are passed. Okay. So in that case, you can use this approach, how to rerun failed test cases. This is the video on my channel. Every for every video, you will get the link on the description of this video. I hope you like the video. If you click on, if you like the video, you can click on the like button. And if you have not subscribed my, my channel till now, you can subscribe it. Thank you.